Hello everyone and welcome back to Game on Caffeine. My name's Isaac and we're back playing some Feed the Beast and Stable for episode 3. And I've kind of built myself a little bit of a bigger house. It's still probably not going to be my main house. And there's quite there's a little bug here for some reason. When I walk, or maybe it's just when I look at the door, I get close enough to see that it's unnamed apparently. A door is unnamed. <laughs> I think it might actually be when I look at the door. Yeah, it seems to be when I look at the door, the screen go, the sky goes white. Not too sure what that's about, but uh, there you go, bug number one. Uh, so yeah, it's a bit unstable, there are a few bugs, it's 1.7.2, it's sort of like a beta, I think it's an alpha pack actually, so it's kind of like um, the newest of the new. But uh, I've changed a few things around, I decided to put my slab furnaces on top of here so they didn't look completely stupid, and the chest still opens which is pretty nice, and uh, we haven't done too much mining since last episode, but we've got a few things, and uh, move my bed over there, move that guy over there, haven't changed the farm too much, I don't think this is going to be my main house, I think I'll probably get... Um, like a new, bigger, better looking house at some point than like a wooden cube. But uh, this definitely doesn't work, by the way. This just um, stacking up rubber logs and hoping that they'll grow rubber. You have to actually like grow the trees. And then if you just want them as like um, pillars, you can just shave the leaves off with the uh, shears or just break them if you want. But uh, this, this, yeah, this this isn't going to work. So uh, what I want to do first this episode is uh, we kind of want to quarry. We want to quarry at some point because uh, we've got <laughs> more texture bugs. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just ignore those guys. So uh, we've got quite a few things. We've got quite a bit of ore and stuff. But uh, we're going to run out of it pretty fast once we, st once we start making machines and all sorts of other shit with. So um, we're going to want to quarry to get us more stuff. Now, we've got a few problems. We need to power the quarry. We need to get the quarry as well because uh, actually we've only got nine diamonds at the minute. We don't have 11 that we need. And also, we're going to have to have somewhere to store the items and somewhere to process the items. Because we're going to get a lot of ores and we don't have much to do with them. We can't have them going into these furnaces because then we can't pull out of them. Or we can, but it's sort of like it's slow. We only get one ingot per ore. What we want to do is we want to set up some industrial craft stuff that lets us double our ores, smelt them out of and put them into some nice chests. Now, we're probably going to use the chests from the iron chest mod, is it? The one that adds iron chest, diamond chest, gold chest, uh, and crystal chests. Which is pretty good. I think it's called Iron Chests. Yeah, I don't know why they called it Iron Chests, but I think it's called Iron Chests. Tell me in the comment section if I'm wrong, but I think I'm right on that one. But uh, yeah, we're going to make some industrial craft uh, machines. Now, I've looked it up. I'm pretty sure I know how to make them now without the help of the NEI, which we still do not have. But uh, I'm sure we'll come in good time. So, we're going to need our forge hammer to get us some plates. Now, in the newer version, I'm pretty sure we need three plates and two iron to get us some scissors so like this we'll get us the wire cutters now the wire cutters can use to be turned plates that we make with the uh, the forge hammer into cables which we can then mix with our rubber to get insulated cables which we are going to need so we are going to need some copper we've got some copper if we make said copper into plates like this let's do three and then we can use the wire cutters to turn them into cables and then we can put the cables with the rubber to get rubber cables pretty cool Okay, so now we need to make this guy into an electronic circuit, which is done with, I think we either use this with redstone, but it might be an iron plate in the middle. Let me just try and make that into an iron plate and see if that works. Maybe? Possibly? There we go, electronic circuit, finally. That took, <laughs> that took long enough. Oh my gosh, I really like this mountain. It looks really cool. I know I keep uh, dragging on about it, but this thing looks flipping epic. Um, gosh, we have to. We're gonna, I might. <laughs> you know, after all this time, I just sort of quarried that out. That's what I did. I just put a big quarry around it and just boom, that's gone. But uh, I don't think I'll do that. I think I'll try. I might make my base in the mountain somewhere, like make a massive layer inside there. That'd be pretty cool. But uh, okay, let's go to sleep because I don't want to get attacked by mobs. My hunger is draining incredibly fast, and I'm pretty sure we've got the front door open because we're just fools. And I don't think any of my wheat's going to fall yet. A few of them look like they have. Oh, they have. Okay, so let's. You're not. Uh, oh, it tells at the top. Gotta love the whaler. The whaler tells us when things are going. So we got one, two. So a few that are almost there. We've only got two. We need another one if we want to get some bread. So almost there. Almost there. I think I might move this farm as well. It looks kind of weird, just like right next to the house. Uh, I think I'll move that at some point. So now we've got ourselves an electronic circuit. Now we're going to need a few of these. Now the first thing I think we're probably going to need is a generator. The generator uses coal and turns it into EU, which is a form of power used in industrial craft. And then we can use that power to power all the other machines, like the macerator and the extractor and the compressor and the mass and the electric furnace, all that good stuff. So to make a generator, we are going to need a tin cell. So I think we might need a few more tin. What I'm going to do is let's grab you. Let's cook a few more tin up in our normal tinker smelters. Helps if we have some coal. Six might be enough, maybe, possibly. 
Okay, now, now to get a generator, we're going to need a, an RE battery, a machine block, and a furnace. So the furnace is pretty easy. We can just, really, we can't, really? That seems a bit silly. Can we not just, there's a new feature where you can pull stuff from the chests um, adjacent to the um, crafting station, but it seems like we can't actually just pull straight out. It's like we click and it just falls on the floor, which is pretty weird, but okay, I guess that's how it works. So I think we are going to need a few more of these, um, copper cables or are we no I think we need tin cables actually we are going to need at least one tin cable I know that for sure so I think you get three yeah you get more tin cables than you do copper cables per piece of tin now do we not have enough rubber ah we don't have enough rubber so the, the only way that we can get enough rubber is using an extractor now the extractor is a machine frame four tree taps and an electronic circuit so let's make let's see if we can go for that so four tree taps look something like this one, two, oh, these things don't stack. One, two, three, four, there we go. Take you, we've got the electronic circuit, and we've got a machine block, a basic machine, which I'm pretty sure is the same thing. And then we should be able to just do you, you, and then these two either side, and we should get ourselves an extractor now. There we go, extractor. And we hover over, it tells us power, two EU per tick, uh, 32 EU per tick max. So just when you put it down, the base it's gonna use is two EU per tick. And then if you overclock it and do some other funky stuff to it, the max it's gonna use is 32 EU per tick. Now, let's put you at the back. Let's put you over here. I might line my machines up over here and then like quarry. Uh, I don't know, I don't really wanna quarry over there, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, I ain't decided where I'm gonna quarry yet. Well, wherever I decide to quarry, I'll probably just cover it over anyway, so it won't be too bad. Okay, now, can I use redstone? I can, okay. So in newer versions of Industrial Craft 2, you can actually use redstone to power your machines early on, which is really useful because we have a ton of rubber wood and not enough rubber to get ourselves um, the other machines going. So if we put redstone in here, it will actually act as fuel and power this guy. Now, I wonder if we can use coal. Is that a thing? No, we can't use coal. Okay, you can just use redstone. So let's put our redstone in there, and then you can extract every single piece of rubber wood into a piece of rubber which is pretty cool there we go so it looks like it's going to take about one piece of redstone per piece of rubber by the looks of things i'm hoping that anyway i don't want to take in too much of my redstone do we have any more no we don't this is our only stack of redstone so we don't really want to lose it we don't need a ton of redstone just yet but um actually i'll keep i'll keep 27 we'll leave that there let's go oh my god we need some food oh it's okay some of this wheat's done let's take i don't know it seems like it seems like it might be a problem with whale it seems when we look at something that's like Minecraft, the sky all goes white. It's only a brief bit there, but it's still there. It's still there. Okay, I'll take you. We'll take you. Thank you very much. And the rest are still not done, so let's put you down. And let's finally eat. Flipping egg. Look how low we are on hunger. We might be able to run again. One day, I wish to be able to run again. Oh, we're so close to a second love bird as well. Look at this. So we'll chop down on this. How are you doing? Doing okay. Not the greatest. I'm going to go chop down these... Um, rubber logs over here because these are just wasting space at the minute these uh, are not going to work I, I don't know if it's a bug with the fact that we didn't get any uh, rubber tree saplings when we cut down the other rubber trees we might have just been really unlucky they might have changed it so that it's a lot harder to get but uh, i think the um the main reason is i'm just turn clouds off because they're really annoying i think it might have been uh, just a bug with this version of industrial craft so but there you go that's what we get with feed the beast unstable we get just complete unstableness and we got to just work around it and do what we can to the best of our abilities and try and make what we can of it anyway. I'm sure it'll get better. And I'm sure when everything's out, 1.7.2 will be uh, pretty fun for mod packs. So let's saw all you in there. That should get us 23. I don't know if I'm going to want all 23, but we can take a few. Okay, let's insulate one of you because I think we only need one. I'm pretty sure we're going to need four plates, four tin plates. Now I think an RE battery looks something like that. But I am wrong, apparently. It might look something like this. No, really? It might <laughs> look something like... Pause for dramatic effect. This. Oh, okay, guys. I'm just going to tab out for a quick second and figure out how the flipping neck I make, um, I make RE batteries. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I'm pretty sure I figured out where I went wrong with this. So, instead of using tin around the sides, and I actually think it's a copper cable at the top as well, what we need to do is we need to use the forge hammer on these again to get item casings. And then if we use four item casings with two redstone, and then I think it's a copper cable, but it might just be a tin cable, we get an RE battery. There we go. Got them in the end. 
So now we've got ourselves an RV battery, and in order to get ourselves a generator, we're going to need an RV battery, a furnace, and a machine frame. So let's get ourselves another machine frame real quick. Do we have some more iron? We do not. So let's cook just a little bit more up. I think I cook all 19 here up, just because... Oh, wow, you can cook tin cables? <laughs> really? That's a thing? Wow, okay. Well, uh, there you go. Top tip of the day. If apparently you can cook tin cables. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's something that's supposed to happen or what. I've no idea. But let's take... I'll take 12 and then we'll call that a day on the extractor for now just in case we need any more rubber. Uh, but I'll leave the rubber trees in there because I think that's going to make one for me. Okay. Right. Let's take you. Let's make some of you into these guys where my forge hammer is. Make it to plates and we need eight plates in order to get ourselves a machine. So let's grab some more coal. We've got a bunch of this stuff. Let's put you in there. And while we're waiting for them to cook, another thing we're going to need is some flint. Now, we don't actually have any flint by the looks of things. And in order to make ourselves a macerate, we need two pieces of cobblestone, a, a, a circuit, a machine block, and three flints. So let's go find ourselves some gravel. Now, I'm pretty sure there's some just over next to the pond, like the river thing over here. So I think, if I remember correctly, there's like a little batch of it maybe. Down there it is. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's grab this stuff. Grab a few of these. Hopefully we'll get some flint. There's one. We need three. That's two. Maybe a third one? Please. There we go. Is that three? Yeah, three. Okay, cool stuff. So I'm going to use gravel. <laughs> Just so it doesn't look too bad. Let's do that and then let's head home. So we got ourselves three flint. Now we've got two cobblestone. We can get a machine frame. We can get an extractor going, a uh, macerator even. And once we get a macerator going, we could turn all of our ores into dusts. And then we'll get two dusts per one ore. And then we'll effectively be doubling our stuff, which is pretty nice. So for five, we'll turn five of these into plates for now. Make a machine frame. And then I'm pretty sure. I'm fairly confident that with a furnace and a machine frame and an, this guy, we should get a generator. Nice. Okay. So now we put this guy down here. This guy, because he's connected, will auto power this guy when we put coal in. So let's grab some coal. Throw him in here. And this will power this off coal, which is pretty cool. Okay. Now, the other way that we're going to power the rest of the machines, because we're going to have machines here, here, here. We're going to have like a macerator connected to the electric furnace. And then we'll probably have a compressor as well for future use. And the way we're going to do that is via this convenient hole in the floor <laughs> that we've got. This is just where I couldn't be bothered filling it in with dirt. Because the landscape was a little bit uneven around our house. And we kind of just had to uh, <laughs> make do with what we had. So let's put that there. And then I'll come back up without putting any cabling down. So what we're going to do is basically run copper cabling along here. And I don't know if it tells us when we scroll over it, but does it tell us how much copper cabling can carry? Yeah, 128 EU per tick. So this guy can carry a max of 128 EU per tick, which is fine for now, because as we saw before, these guys are going to use a max. This guy's going to use like a max 2 EU per tick, and I think the rest are kind of similar um, around that way, around that area. And then the, uh, the generator only outputs at 10 EU per tick anyway, so that should be fine. We've got a nice uh, 4,000 EU buffer. Uh, something else we're also going to want to make is a bat box or some form of energy storage unit because we want us to be able to store our EU uh, just in case, like, I don't know, this thing runs out of coal. We have a nice, like, buffer so we don't run out straight away. Okay, let's go to sleep. Okay, right. So we've got ourselves a generator, an extractor. Let's see if we can make ourselves a macerator. So... Got a bunch more iron. We are going to need a machine frame guy. Not you. That's not how you make one at all. It used to be that simple back in the old days. Just uh, some refined iron in a circle. But things have changed. We need iron plates in a circle. Gets us a basic machine casing. And then we are going to need another one of these circuits. So let's make some more plates. Use the cutters to turn you into wires. And then use this and this and this and this and this oh my gosh look how, look how fast we can do this now <laughs> oh there we go and we get ourselves an electronic circuit so we need one of you i think it looks something like this with of course another piece of cobblestone in that spare slot now let's go see can we find a piece of cobblestone i've been surprisingly low on cobblestone recently i don't know it's usually something that i have an absolute ton of and can't wait to get rid of but uh, for, for whatever reason, it's always early on. I'm always out of cobblestone. I guess I kind of just ignore it. 
Let's plant some more of these down. We can go inside in a second and craft up three more loaves of bread. So hopefully we won't starve and almost die. <laughs> Uh, the good thing is we can't actually die, I don't think. Ooh, was that, that wasn't something that changed, was it? I don't think it was. Um, I don't think we changed that you die if you like run out of hunger. Although that is the case in some packs. Do we have like a cobblestone bit? Yeah, we've got a cave over here. Oh, we've got a bed as well. I think I might take you and uh, put you back in the house because we don't really need you down here anymore. And I'd like a double bed. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a double bed. Who wouldn't? Okay, we'll do that. And just for speed's sake, we'll just teleport home. Look at that. I love the, I love that map. I love the Zan's mini map. It's like the best map. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this, or maybe this, macerator. Cool stuff. So we are going to need one more piece of copper cabling. Oh, we were so close. So close. And I think I'm going to put some fresh plates down by the front door as well, just so they close behind me, because that would be a nice feature to have. So we'll cut you. We'll put you with some rubber. And there we go. That should be enough. So let's hook you up like this. And I'll just do all three, because we are going to have some more stuff there eventually. There we go. Okay, so let's put you down there. And now, if we say throw some iron in there, because I think iron's the next big thing we're going to need, let's throw some iron into you. And you should macerate that iron into iron dust, which we can then smell into two iron, which is pretty cool. So let's actually make this bread real quick so we can actually start walking again, because we move so slowly without it. This thing, <laughs> this thing runs really slow. Uh, don't worry, we can speed these machines up using overclockers once we get a better power source and um, once we get like more stuff to, to pulverize. But uh, there we go, we get crushed iron ore, which if we put into our furnace, we can turn into two iron, which is pretty cool. Now, um, what we can do next is we can get ourselves an electronic furnace, which allows us to, uh, to take this stuff here and put it straight into electric furnace. Now, I don't know if these, these machines dump straight into an adjacent machine. I'm hoping they do, but if they don't, we can make a build craft pipe to connect them and just connect it up and put it out there. Okay, so in order to get ourselves an electric furnace, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna need a few more iron plates. I think five is actually the exact amount we're gonna need. We're gonna need another furnace. Oh my God, we need so much, so much um, flipping cobblestone. Uh, let's just, there's probably some cobblestone around here somewhere. Oh wow, really? Really? Now my, now my shovel breaks. Now the shovel breaks. I was just hoping there'd be some like cobblestone just like there. There we go. We'll take that. One, two, three, four, and Isaac falls into a pit of lava and dies. That would not surprise me. Okay, right. So let's make ourselves a furnace. And then if we take a furnace and use, I think it's like this, we get an iron furnace, which is faster than a normal furnace, but not super fast. And actually, let's just do a quick test. Does this output straight away? No, it doesn't. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It just means we got to play around and do some other stuff using Buildcraft pipes uh, to do that. So, I'll close you up. And now, in order to make this into an electric furnace so we can run off our generator over here, which looks like it's actually run out of coal. It has. What we can do is we can mix you with another electric circuit. So, <laughs> we're going to need more of these. Two of you. Gets us four of you. I think we're going to need one more of those, aren't we? Yeah. Gets us two more cables, which we can then insulate. Oh, we're going to need more rubber, but the good thing is, while we've been jibber-jabbering, we've had more rubber being made for us, which is pretty swish. Let's turn you guys into insulated cables, and then we should be able to make some more of these. Pretty cool. So, do we have any iron left? No? Okay, we need some more iron. Gosh. There we go. Throw you in there. Look at that. We put, like, what, 18 iron in there? We've already got 12 out. We've still got 12 left. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So we, I think we, yeah, we only need one for this, don't we? Take out one of you, turn you into a plate, and then use you in this guy to make him. Okay, and then an electric furnace is just you, two redstone, and the iron furnace like that gets us an electric furnace. Now this guy uses three EU per tick, so he uses three EU per tick. I'm not sure what I didn't look at what this guy used, and this guy uses two, so three, four, five. I think this guy uses less than five so but we are looking at like maxing out our generator in a minute which only outputs 10 of you per tick that is whilst it's full of um cobblestone as well and oh we've left oh um never oh did we get lucky yeah okay would not recommend doing that with uh, with industrial craft you do have a chance of losing your machines if you just break them with a pickaxe uh, i'd recommend using a wrench but we didn't have a wrench so i just uh went for the risk there so let's get us one more piece of insulated copper cable just to connect it up to the generator like this 
There we go. And then the next thing we're going to need is some glass. So let's grab up ourselves a piece of sand. What we're going to make next is called a wooden transport pipe from Buildcraft. And this allows us to uh, to move items or to pull items out of the inventory and uh, put them into another one. So we can pull out of the macerator into the um, electric furnace. And then if we want to, we could then have it come out of the electric furnace, go along the wall and pull it into this chest. So pretty sure wooden transport pipes look something like this. It's been a while since I made them. Helps if I cook up the sand first. Now what I could do is move these guys over. I might as well leave one of those in there. There we go. And we could put you in there. And you should, if we put coal in here, start working. There we go. Now you can see they're all sort of flickering. Now the reason that they're flickering is because they don't have enough power. And that is because, let's turn you off. If I turn you off, are you going to start working and stop flickering? You have because you're not doing anything. There we go, now they've got enough power. But uh, yeah, you can tell that this one generator, this like one measly generator we've got over here is not really um, enough to keep us going. So what I think I might do maybe next episode or in the next couple of episodes is start making some solar, uh, some solar panels because uh, solar panels are a pretty nice um, like unlimited source of power basically. They just pulse it from the sun. But uh, I think we'll probably have to get our quarry set up before then because we need quite a few materials. Let's take you and you. Can we make this wooden pipe maybe? There we go. Look at that wooden transport pipe, extraction pipe. Now, if we put this here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we need. Oh, you know, it always puts it the wrong way around. Always. Okay, so let's make ourselves a wrench, a buildcraft wrench. A uh, buildcraft wrench is just a wooden gear, a stone gear, and I don't know, diamonds. I just, I just want cobblestone. I realize this is probably the faster way to do it. I think this teleporting thing is kind of a little bit cheaty, but uh, oh well. Saves us a little bit of time. And then a wrench, I think, is this. There we go. Wrench. So that's a buildcraft wrench, and we can use this to turn this guy around because we want, the red side is where it's going to pull out from. Now, in order to make it pull out, we need a redstone engine. Now, if memory serves me correct, which it doesn't, because I have no idea how you make a redstone engine, I'm going to again tap out one last time before we end the episode and figure out how you make a redstone engine because I've completely forgot, despite the fact that I've made like 10 million of these. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so this recipe here gets us a piston, and then if we mix a piston with two wooden gears, which is just four sticks, a piece of glass, and then three oak planks, we get ourselves a redstone engine. Pretty nice. Now, what we can do with this is basically power this. Now, how are we going to do this? I would usually put them underground, but we've got our copper cabling there. So what I'm going to do just for now is put this guy here, and then you need to give it a redstone signal. So let's give it a lever, actually. I don't want to use a redstone torch. That's kind of a waste of redstone. If we make a lever, we can just put that above here and we can turn it on and it will start to pump and now it will start to pump this crushed iron ore out of there and then hopefully into the right slot of this. Yes, it does. Okay, good stuff. So that's going to pump that into there, auto smelt it into iron ingots and then if we really wanted to, we can put another one down here. We could make ourselves another guy if we have enough cobblestone, which I do not think oh, we might do. We might do. Piston. And then wood gets us more stuff. If we wait for those because they just throw on the floor. I really don't know if that's a bug or if that's just like, a, I don't know, a way to make it less OP or something. I don't know. Oh, I always, I never get that right. I can never get it to go perfect. Okay, so two of you, a piston. We might just have enough. We are going to need one more piece of glass, which would be sand. We might as well do it. We might as well set up the system properly. So let's take you, put you into one of our many furnaces now. And then we should have ourselves a nice automated ore processing system, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice. So we'll throw you in there. And I think then we've got everything else we need. We've got two gears, we've got three pieces of wood, we've got glass, we've got a piston. Yep, we are pretty much good to go. Oh no, we are going to need one more piece of sand. Ah, oh, one more piece because we need pipes to pull it around the room. Now, uh, wooden transport pipes can pull out of inventories, like you can see at the minute. But uh, they can't actually like transfer them. You can't have like a couple of wooden transport pipes next to each other. Like if I try to do there, not that. If I try to do this, they, they don't connect, they don't transport stuff. So what we need then is we're going to need a different type form of transport pipe. So let's make, let's make, oh no, we'll make this other thing first. We're going to need a few more pieces of cobblestone. I knew we didn't have enough. And by a few, I mean two. Don't, trust me, before next episode, I'll go down and get a bunch more cobblestone. So I don't keep having to do this. But for now, we're going to need two pieces of cobblestone and a piece of glass gets us cobblestone transport pipes which are kind of the cheapest version and for some reason a bit weirdly textured. And then if we make ourselves the pump like this, get ourselves a redstone engine, then we can put you down there. We've already got one. We can put you there 
And then we can have you guys, so we just made, going all the way along this wall and into that chest. And if we just quickly whip ourselves up another piston, but forget that because we don't have things, so just a redstone torch, I guess. <laughs> if we put one of these there, what'll happen now is that'll pump, and the 24 that in here should start to come out. There we go, 23. And they'll move along here, which is pretty cool. Look at this. We've got a nice little industrial setup kind of going on. I haven't used Buildcraft pipes in such a long time. Uh, I'm like been recently using thermal expansion pipes just for like everything, um, item ducts and stuff. But these look pretty cool. I like the way the items move along them. Yeah, you can make them go faster if you use gold transport pipes. Gold transport pipes will speed them up and make them go faster. But we haven't really cooked up our gold yet. Probably could. But uh, we do have uh, other things in mind for our gold. Actually, let's put that in the, uh, the macerate. So let's put you in there. Yeah, okay. So, between this episode and next, what I'll do is I'll go mining a little bit more, hopefully get us some coal, and hopefully get us enough resources to make a quarry. And then next episode, what we'll do is we'll set the quarry up, and we could probably set up some other uh, sorting system as well, because, look at all this, I love it. Because we have a lot of stuff coming from the quarry, we want to process the ores and stuff, we want everything else to go in there, and we kind of want to get rid of some stuff. We don't want, like, our chest being clogged up with... Uh, with like loads of cobblestone and dirt and stuff. So we'll sort that out as well. But uh, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.